Another new skincare item, I like to use some type of serum or oil that is hydrating in the winter just because my skin is so dry that my regular moisturizer does not do it for me. I need something extra. So I got this Truly Oil. And I don't know much about this brand. I just know some of their stuff from TikTok. They have those swirly lotions that I see all over TikTok that have gone viral. So I went to the website and this looked really interesting because I've never used an oil that was both exfoliating and hydrating in one. But let me give you the details and then we'll go ahead and put it on my face. As I said, this is by the brand Truly. This is the Blueberry Kush 300 milligram CBD face oil, detoxify and illuminate, 1000 blueberries, vegan collagen and AHA BHA boost. It says vegan, clean, high performing, animal cruelty free, fragrance free, harsh chemical free. So that all sounds absolutely fantastic. What more could you want in skincare? And this says, Apply three to five drops onto clean skin and gently pat into skin for optimal absorption. Apply daily, morning and night, and follow with a moisturizer. During the day, follow with sunscreen. Avoid eye area, so that's good to know. Don't put this around your eyes. And let's go in and use this. I'm gonna be using this for 30 days every day. It says to use this twice a day, so that's what I'll be doing. So this will be my first impressions, and then at the end of the video, you'll see what I think after 30 days with check-ins, interspersed throughout. That's five drops. I'm just gonna swirl in my hand. It feels very lightweight, almost like a dry oil. Super lightweight. I'm gonna focus a lot of it around my nose area just because that's where I'm the most dry. I did put moisturizer on beforehand just because when I got, my hair is wet, I just got out of the shower. When I get out of the shower, I have to put on a moisturizer immediately. So I did put one on before, maybe like 30 minutes ago, and my moisturizer is now coming off in clumps. So definitely put this on before moisturizer, which it says on the bottle. I didn't do that, and now I can see why, because it's just like peeling off my skin which is fine. I did want to put makeup on top of this, so I'm just gonna have to make sure I get all those pillies and peelies off before I go in with any makeup. There's no scent. It's not giving me any burning sensation or any tingling or anything. It feels very lightweight. It's not as thick as some of the other oils I've used. So like I use the Ordinary Rosehip Oil and this is significantly lighter. I'm on Ulta right now. It says formulated with a powerhouse blend of antioxidant rich oils, AHAs, BHAs, and vegan collagen. Truly's Blueberry Kush CBD face oil turbocharges any moisturizer it's combined with. This nourishing potent miracle oil sinks instantly into the skin, leaving it remarkably soft, luminous, and high. Hydrated. I wouldn't say that it instantly sinks into the skin. I mean, it's not like super oily on my skin right now, but I've probably had it on for about a minute and I still feel it on my face. So let's see how long it actually takes to sink in. It says blueberry seed oil protects from photo aging, vegan collagen plumps and smooth skin, and it's cruelty free. I don't know that I would use this during the day Typically with face oils, I just like to use them at night because they make your face look like a little bit oily, a little bit like an oil slick. And even though I do love the hydration, if I'm gonna wear makeup, I probably would not wear this during the day. Also, if I was just trying to leave the house quickly, I probably wouldn't wear this during the day either, just because it's not, I mean, it says it sinks into the skin instantly, but it's definitely not, like you can see on my chin, it's not sinking in instantly. And at night, I like that kind of, I like feeling super hydrated and like my skincare is doing something all night long but during the day, I don't want to look oily. So this is interesting. On the bottle, it says to apply this first and then your moisturizer. And then on the website, it says to use your moisturizer and then use this. So that's a little bit contradictory. I don't know which one to do, but it does say both at night and during the day, but still, it says on the website to use it after moisturizer, and then it says on the bottle to use it before moisturizer, so I don't really know which one I'm supposed to do, but I can report that using it after moisturizer is making it 
peel and flake off of my skin. So far, I don't love or hate this oil. I find it to be very interesting. Packaging is gorgeous. I mean, this is $38. I got it at Ulta, but you can also order it from their website directly. I think this is interesting. I am gonna use it, and as much as I can, I'll do it during the day and at night. I just have to remember to do my moisturizer after and not before because I'm still having little bits of moisturizer like flake off of my face from earlier and I don't love that. So I'll just have to remember to do that. There is no fragrance. The blue hue does not stay once it's on your face. It's pretty much clear. So you don't have to worry about that. And then also this does say that it basically illuminates and exfoliates, but also hydrates. So it's kind of like a two in one serum oil situation, which is nice. I mean, if you can do one less step skincare, that would be great. I don't know if this will be able to replace my BHA, AHA altogether. I do use a toner, so I'll have to look into that. But just from first usage, my skin is feeling very, very soft. I'm gonna have to test this over time, obviously, because skincare, you can't really tell right off the bat if it's gonna be good or bad. I mean, sometimes you can tell if it's gonna be bad, but you can't really tell if it's gonna be good over time. So I'll definitely have to let you know. And it has sunk in more to the skin. It's been about three to five minutes. It's definitely sunk in more so to the skin, but it is still prominent on my face. Like you can see still on my chin, there's a little bit of an oil slick going on. Stay tuned for check-ins throughout the month. And then at the end, the 30-day check-in where I give you my ultimate opinion on this truly face oil. I've been using this Truly Blueberry Kush CBD face oil for a few days now, I'd say about three to four days, and I'm not really liking it. I hate to make judgments so quick, so I'm going to keep using it for at least another week, but so far I'm just not liking this at all. First off, it says that you need five drops, three to five drops, one, two, three, four, five. Oops, I did six, and I don't feel like the five drops are really enough to hydrate my entire face. Like even right now when I'm rubbing it in, I do feel the oil on my hands and I feel it on my face, but I don't feel like it's spreading across my entire face. Like there's just not enough of it. And I'm nervous to use more than the recommended amount because it is, it does have like AHAs and BHAs in it, I believe. Yeah, it has AHAs and BHAs in it. So I don't want to like accidentally over exfoliate or anything. So I don't want to use more than the five, but it doesn't feel like there's enough to cover my entire face. Also, I'm not noticing any increase in hydration. I actually started this and stopped my hyaluronic acid serum. Well, if I stopped it, I ran out of it. So I replaced it with this and all there, it was just the ordinary hyaluronic acid. It wasn't anything special, nothing like that had tons of ingredients, literally just hyaluronic acid. And my face feels just significantly less moisturized now than it did then. I don't really find it to be very hydrating at all. I don't really notice any improved texture, softness, moisture, anything in my face. Also, when I use this at night and I wake up the next day, my face almost feels like tight, like, you know, when your face just feels like tight, like it's dry, it just feels tight in the morning. Like it doesn't have enough moisture or something. And I'm still using the same moisturizer. I'm still doing everything else in my routine the exact same way, except this oil instead of the hyaluronic acid. If my ordinary hyaluronic acid, I think I bought that for like $8, can do a better job than this $38 oil. What's the, what's the point, you know? And this does have really good ratings, so I'm actually pretty surprised. I mean, the packaging is really, really nice. It's a very pretty blue color, but ultimately I don't really care about that unless it's actually going to work. Also, I have some breakouts. I wouldn't say like horribly, but I do have a couple of spots on my face. So I don't know if I can attribute that to the oil, but they did appear the day after I started using the oil. So I can't say like 100% I think it's because of the oil, but I do think it is because of the oil. Also, as I mentioned in my first impressions, the website says something different than the bottle. So the directions on the bottle say to put this on 
before your moisturizer. And then on the website, it says to put this on after your moisturizer. So I've done it both ways and I've never had this happen with any other like oil or serum or anything. But if you put your moisturizer on before this oil, it'll pill. It'll just really peel right off your face. So you definitely have to use your moisturizer after the oil. And even so, you have to wait a good amount of time. Not like horribly, but you do have to wait like a good five to 10 minutes for this to really sink into the skin before you go over it with a moisturizer. Because if not, even then it'll pill. So you just have to make sure this is completely dry. So I'd say overall, like this is a little bit more high maintenance than I like. I'm also not seeing any benefits to it. Like if my skin was dramatically improved or like super hydrated, I'd be like, oh, it's worth it. But right now it's just not seeming like the effort to me. And also it's expensive. It's making me break out a little bit, I think. So there's just really a host of reasons, but again, I'm not gonna give up on it just yet. I am gonna use it at least for another week to really see. I mean, obviously you have to use skincare for more than three to four days to really know the effects on your skin, but even so, the immediate effects are just really negating any possible future benefits, so I'm not sure. I've been using the Truly oil for about a week and a half now, and my hair looks crazy. And I just wanted to check in, and this pimple over here will not go away. I also have a couple more especially like in this area over here. And the only thing I've really changed about my skincare routine has been this Truly Oil. So I think it's from this. I'm having a very difficult time with it. I don't think it's particularly good. Like I don't feel super hydrated or anything, but also I think it's causing me to break out. So again, I've been using this for about a week and a half. I don't know if I'm gonna make it the full month, but if my pimples over here don't start going down a little bit, I'm not gonna use this anymore just cause two weeks is enough. I feel like for my skin to get used to it, it shouldn't be breaking out after using it for two weeks. I would like to note that I used this Tula face moisturizer for the first time yesterday. It's the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I don't, first of all, it says probiotics and superfoods. You can't get, <laughs> You can't get probiotics from your skincare. Like that's not how it works. You have to eat it. But anyways, you have to like ingest it. Also, there's no way this is a cult classic. I'm sorry. It smells so bad. Like it's so heavily perfumed, but not a good perfume. Not like, a, ooh, that smells nice. Like it smells like bad. It smells like bathroom cleaner. So I'm overall just having a bad skincare couple couple days here because the Truly oil is making me break out and then this is like a toilet bowl. So I'm just gonna have to go back to my drugstore because it's these things are expensive. They're like luxury, high-end, expensive products and I would rather just go back to my ordinary serum and my drugstore CeraVe face wash. So it is what it is, but I just wanted to let you know since I'm not gonna be able to do a testing video on this cause I'm not gonna be able to use it more than once. I have an update on this Truly Serum. So unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to use this anymore. As I said in my last check-in, I used this for about two weeks and I was just getting acne all over, not necessarily irritation, but just bumps everywhere, especially over here in this area and over here. So I stopped using this about three days ago and you can already see my face looks completely back to normal. And I was worried at first that the bumps and acne was coming from just maybe hormonal or something else but it's definitely not. It's definitely from this. So again, within three days, my face has gone pretty much back to normal. I have a little bit of a healing spot right here, but that is completely it. So I'm not gonna be using this anymore, unfortunately. It just made my skin break out and that's just not worth it to me to have a breakout. Like pretty much nothing is worth, is worth that in my opinion. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be done with this, no more. So unfortunately, this Truly Serum or this Truly CBD face oil just did not work out for me. I don't recommend it. I'm not gonna be using it anymore and it just made me break out. So I do have sensitive skin, but I also don't feel like it was particularly moisturizing anyways. Like it didn't make my skin more plump or more hydrated or anything.
And then to go along with this, which was a little bit of a dud for me, well, a lot of a dud for me. I don't wanna say it's a dud for everyone, but a dud for me. I also tried this Tula cleanser. This is the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. And I don't understand why this is highly rated. It smells horrible. <laughs> Yeah, it smells not like Cody Airspun, but you know how Cody Airspun has that kind of like, everyone says it smells like grandma perfume. Well, this is the grandma perfume in a face cleanser version. So this is heavily, heavily scented. It does cause irritation on my skin. It does make me a little bit itchy. It is so overwhelmingly powerful in the scent. It's like, <sighs> too much. It depends on the website, but these do have good reviews. They just did not work out for me for the reasons that I just mentioned. And to top it all off, they are pretty expensive. This is the travel size, so I got it for $10, but if you wanted to get the full size, it's $20, which is expensive for a face cleanser. Altogether, these products just didn't work out for me. They're way too expensive for what they are, and I don't recommend them, unfortunately. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful, and if you get these products and you like them, let me know down below, or if you've had the same experience as me, let me know down below. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.